Subansiri, a major right bank tributary of the Brahmaputra River, originates in the central Himalayan range at an altitude of 5,340 meters. The river flows through a total drainage area of 375 kilometers up to the confluence with the Brahmaputra, covering an area of about 37,000 square kilometers. The catchment area is crescent shaped with its concavity on the western side. The catchment area has 4,500 square kilometers covered with snow and 24,116 square kilometers rain fed. The contributing of the Subansiri River is estimated to be about 10% of the total discharge of the Brahmaputra River observed at Pandu near Guwahati. The 2000 MW Subansiri Lower Hydroelectric Project is the largest hydroelectric project in terms of installed capacity. The NHPC's project is located 2.3 kilometers upstream of Gerukamukh village on the Assam Onachal Pradesh border in the districts of Kamli, Onachal Pradesh and Dhemaji, Assam. The nearest railhead is Gogamukh and the nearest airport is Lilabari Airport in North Lokimpur. The Subansiri River, located in northeast India, is one of the major tributaries of the Brahmaputra River. It has a catchment area of 34,900 square kilometers, of which 60% is in India and the remaining 40% is in Tibet. The NHPC's project on the river Subansiri has been designed to harness its enormous hydropower potential. Subansiri Hydroelectric Project 2000 Megawatt is the biggest hydroelectric project under construction in India. This is the project is being constructed in the remotest part of the India, which is uh, at the border of the Assam and Arunachal. Constructing such a big project at this uh, uh, remotest place it itself is a big challenge. But discharge in the river varies from 200 cumex to 18,000 cumex. To tame this river in such a huge discharge is a very big challenge. But against all these odds, now the project is under nearing completion. We intend to complete at least 500 megawatt of power out of 2000. And then in a phase manner, we will keep on adding 2000 to 250 megawatt after every three, four months, so that we can achieve 2000 megawatt by June 2024. The observed discharge at the dam site varies from a maximum of 13,820 cubic meters per second to a minimum of 188 cubic meters per second. Once this reservoir is built up, we'll be charging those headrest tunnels. We have eight number of headrest tunnels and the water from uh, these tunnels will go to the turbine of uh, the powerhouse. We have eight number of units of 250 megawatt each. And we are initially planning to charge and start two number of units. The reservoir behind the dam has a maximum water level of 208.25 meters above sea level, while the full reservoir level is at 205 meters above sea level. The minimum reservoir level is at 190 meters above sea level, and the maximum drawdown level is at 181 meters above sea level. The gross storage capacity of the reservoir at full reservoir level is 1,365 million cubic meters, while at the minimum reservoir level it is 923 million cubic meters. The maximum drawdown level has a gross storage capacity of 720 million cubic meters. The area under submergence at the full reservoir level is 33.50 square kilometers. The length of the reservoir is 59.5 kilometers. There are five diversion tunnels on the left bank of the river, each with a diameter of 9.5 meters and a horseshoe shape. The length of the tunnels ranges from 491 meters to 688 meters with a total length of 2940.5 meters. These tunnels are used 
to divert flood of 4550 cubic meters per second during the non-monsoon period to facilitate the construction of the dam foundation. So, Bansi Nagar project ki art uh, units ke liye uh, alag alag art water conductor system hai jinko char bhag mein vibhajit kiya gaya hai intake, head stern, side tunnel aur pressure shafts. Hamari uh, pani intake se hote hue uh, head stern mein jayega, uske baad uh, pressure shafts se hote hue power house ki unit mein jayega. Hamari tunnel ka daya 9.5 meter hai, wo finish daya 9.5 meter hai. The construction of a dam is a massive undertaking that requires the collaboration of engineers, workers and local communities. With the successful completion of the diversion tunnels, this dam is one step closer to providing clean energy to the region while also protecting it from flooding. This concrete gravity dam stands tall at 116 meters above the riverbed level and 125 meters above the deepest foundation level. The dam top elevation stands at EL 210 meters above mean sea level, while the deepest foundation level is EL 85 meters. The dam top spans 283.883 meters in length, consisting of nine overflow blocks of 19.5 meters each. There are four non-overflow blocks on the left bank with lengths of 18 meters each and one block of 9 meters. On the right bank, there are three non-overflow blocks, two of which are 18 meters long and one that is 9.838 meters. This is Subansi Low Dam, 2000 megawatt, and you can very well see that this dam is in the final stage of construction and most of the blocks have already achieved its final height and now this out of 20 lakh 20, 50 thousand cubic meters of concreting only 70 thousand cubic meters of concreting is left so this dam is uh, very well in, a, uh, in, a, in the final stages and we are expecting that we will be able to complete this dam by May of this uh, year only and you can uh, see that this dam has uh, very advanced uh, features has got nine number of bays and nine number of radial gates have been placed in this dam so that excess water, whatever is there, can be very well regulated during the monsoon. And apart from that, it has non-overflow structures, four non-overflow structures in the left bank and three non-overflow structures in the right bank, which have also been completed right now. And now this uh, major, uh, major this, uh, gate structures are coming up very fast. And uh, we are expecting that these gate structures are also will be also be able to complete uh, before this monsoon only. You can see now this uh, dam has additional feature of uh, extended bay width. It has got a very large bay, bay width, which can which can help this dam for additional stability as well as energy dissipation of the dam. The dam's width measures an impressive 271 meters which provides stability against the force of the water. The construction of such a massive structure required precision and careful planning to ensure its safety and longevity. In total, the dam required a hooping 20.57 lakh cubic meters of concrete to be poured, making it one of the largest concrete structures in the region. The sheer width of the dam alone is around 50 lakh tons, which is equivalent to the width of thousands of elephants. The concrete cut-off wall of 80 cm thick, 50 m deep provided below the upstream of the dam and concrete cut-off wall of 80 cm thick, 30 m deep provided in the overflow portion below the downstream of the dam to prevent any seepage of water to the dam foundation. One of the most impressive components of the dam is the main inlet valve, which is the largest of its kind in the country. This main inlet valve weighs a staggering 355 tons and has a diameter of 7 meters. It plays a crucial role in regulating the flow of water 
into the turbines. The valve is an engineering marvel. The orifice type spillway of this dam is a vital component in ensuring the safety and stability of the entire structure. The spillway is designed to handle a maximum probable flood of 37,500 cubic meters per second, which is an enormous amount of water. To manage such high volumes, the spillway features nine radial gates, each measuring 11.5 meters by 14.7 meters. The crest elevation of the spillway is set at an impressive EL 145 meters above mean sea level, allowing it to release water safely and efficiently. But what makes this spillway truly remarkable are the size and capacity of its radial gates. The biggest radial gate in terms of size in the country is located here. It measures an astounding 11.5 meters by 14.0 meters and a head of up to 64 meters. We are having nine number spillway radial gates of size 11.5 meter by 14 meter to discharge the flood water and the excess water coming to the dam. These gates are, these are, there are nine gates and these individual gates are approximately 500 ton weight and these gates are hydraulically operated through hydraulic cylinder and power packs. These hydraulic cylinders are of individual capacity around 400 ton and the gate operation shall be done automated in an automated way through dam top at EL210 by the Armex system. The entire gate will be hydraulically operated as per the power packs uh, fitted at dam top. So we are now uh, we are uh, on the active stage of the construction and we are do, at present uh, constructing doing construction in all the nine spillway radial gates and you can see that some of the gates are on the verge of completion and we are already erecting the hydraulic cylinders to lift these gates. This dam is also home to the heaviest Francis turbine runner of the region. It's a crucial component in the hydroelectric power generation process. As we delve deeper into the technicalities of the Subansiri Lower Hydroelectric Project, we come across some astounding facts about the equipment that has been used to generate electricity. One such marvel of engineering is the generator stator rotor. Weighing a massive 620 tons and with a diameter of 11.45 meters, it is the biggest equipment ever handled in a hydro power plant. But that's not all. The stator of the project is also a behemoth in its own right. With a weight of 395 tons and a diameter of 11.5 meters, it is the largest stator in the country in terms of weight. These machines are responsible for converting the power generated by the turbines into electrical energy, and their sheer size and complexity are a testament to the level of expertise and precision that goes into the construction of a project of this magnitude. This is the Swansri power also of 2000 megawatt capacity and the work is uh, going on and you can see the, uh, where we are standing is the uh, so, um, unloading bay and uh, you can see there the work is going on that is the, our service bay and you can see this one is the rotor of unit number 3 which is uh, work is under progress and this one is the frame of uh, starter uh, frame of unit number 3 and I'll tell you that uh, the uh, uh, work of unit number 1 Complete uh, work of unit number has been completed and uh, the work on unit number 2 is under progress and that will be completed very soon. As we explore the intricacies of the Subansiri Lower Hydroelectric Project, we come across the Headdress Tunnel Intakes or HRT. These intakes are responsible for supplying water to the eight turbines in the powerhouse. There are eight intakes in total, each with a size of 7.5 meters by 23.75 meters. In order to prevent debris from entering the HRT, inclined type trash racks have been installed in the opening. The gate opening size is 7.3 meters by 9.5 meters, with the invert level at EL 160 meters. 
These trash racks ensure that the water flowing through the intakes is free from any debris or waste, which could potentially cause damage to the turbines and other equipment. As water flows through the turbines in a hydropower plant, it can create pressure surges that can damage the equipment. That's why a surge tunnel system is an important part of any hydropower project. In the case of the Subansiri Lower Hydroelectric Project, there are eight surge tunnels to protect the turbines. These tunnels are either circular or horseshoe shaped with a diameter of 9.5 meters. The length of the tunnels varies from 402 meters to 485 meters with a total length of 3550 meters. The surge tunnels act as a safety valve for the hydropower plant. They help to regulate the water pressure and prevent any sudden surges that could cause damage to the equipment. The Subansiri hydroelectric project features eight pressure shafts that help transport water from the headrest tunnel to the turbines in the underground powerhouse. These pressure shafts are designed in a circular or horseshoe shape and have a diameter of 8 meters. The length of each pressure shaft ranges from 192 meters to 215 meters, including a steel line portion of 155 meters. The heart of any hydroelectric power project is a powerhouse. Here at the Subansiri Lower Hydroelectric Project, we have a surface type powerhouse that is an engineering marvel. It has an installed capacity of 2000 megawatt, making it one of the largest hydroelectric power stations in the country. The powerhouse consists of eight units, each with a capacity of 250 megawatt. The size of the powerhouse is impressive, with dimensions of 285 meters in length 61 meters in width and 64 meters in height. The type of turbine used in this powerhouse is the French turbine, which is renowned for its efficiency and reliability. The operating gross head of the project is 91 meters. One of the most critical components of the French turbine is the draft tube. At the Subansiri Lower Hydroelectric Project, the draft tube opening is 3 meters by 5.75 meters by 7.5 meters. This ensures that water is discharged from the turbine at a high velocity, generating a maximum amount of power. The tail race channel is of a length of 35 meters and a width of 206 meters. With such a high capacity, the power generation from the project is enormous, with an annual energy generation of 7,421.59 million units. This is calculated based on a dependable year of 90% which ensures consistent energy supply for the region. To efficiently evacuate the generated power, the project has a 400 kVA transmission line from Power Grid Corporation of India Limited. This ensures a smooth transmission of the energy to the national grid and provides power to millions of homes and businesses across the country. The purpose of the project of a hydrated project is not only to produce uh, electricity, but is the overall development of the area. You can see at present more than 7,000 people are employed from the local areas at this project only. Besides that, number of contractors, subcontractors, suppliers, shopkeepers, they are working in the vicinity. They are getting direct and indirect employment. The area has been very much developed. Earlier when the project had started, this area was uh, uh, not developed, but now a lot of prosperity has come near in the nearby areas. Even after commissioning of this project, this when as electricity will be available, some small scale industries, medium scale industries will come up in the nearby areas because electricity is very much available and logistics are very good. Subansiri Lower Hydroelectric Project not only generates electricity but also plays an important role in flood moderation. The reservoir level is carefully managed 
to prevent downstream areas from flooding during the monsoon season. The carrying capacity of Suvansiri River is about 7,000 cumic. In case of excess water, the reservoir can store water to relieve downstream areas from flooding. For example, in the event of a 1 in 10 years flood of 12,400 cumic, 5,400 cumic of water will be stored in the reservoir, releasing 7,000 cumic in the downstream to control the flood for about 24 hours. NHPC to arrest this to mitigate this flood erosion. NHPC has taken consultancy from IIT Rurki. Design has been vetted by IIT uh, Guwahati, then WRD Assam, and after that, this protection works has started. So this protection works has geo bags, geo mattress, sag gabion. The latest technology, where which ever, which is being used right now, is the best of the everything which we have. NHPC's Subansiri Lower Hydroelectric Project is a remarkable engineering feat that not only generates clean electricity but also helps in flood moderation, providing a vital service to the surrounding communities.